Raz had woke, woken up in a very dark room. He hits his head against the wall as he stretches. Rubbing his head, he could feel that there's something unusual on his hand, like a device of some sort. Then he perks as he hears a familiar voice panicking, Oh God, where am I? Taco? Said Raz. Raz! Replied the voice. Is that you, mate? Yes, answered Raz. Where are we? Are we where are you? Darko yelped, I'm thinking the same thing. I'm thinking the same thing. Then the answer to their questions, the lights came on in rows. In rows. Way, way far about. Seems to be that they were in an abandoned warehouse. Then the guys saw each other. They were both wearing the same things. A tank, shorts, and some sort of device attached to their hands. It's attached around the wrist like an iron handcuff, and on top of the hand had five thick wires, each attached to the tips of their finger of their fingernails. Also, they were both barefooted. Raz and Daco didn't like the look of, of this device on their hands, and there was no way to get it off. Then a low quality and brightness screen came on, showing off a scary looking alpaca plush. Hello, it spoke. I understood that you two play a lot of games. The two nodded uncomfortably. Well then, said the alpaca, I could guarantee that either of you played a game like this. Then a huge light turned on in the middle of the room. It was Livy, attached to something that looked a lot more un unnerving than, than the ones the guys had on their hands. The device on Livy was attached on her head and wrists. She was on a chair with her hands behind her back, looking very frightened. That alpaca spoke again. You knew this girl, right? It's Livy. What's on her is a puzzle that fills the whole place. On her head. It's made to rip her mouth open. Behind her. It'll be, it'll be cranked as much as her arms pop out of their sockets. However, there is a way to stop that from happening. There's a lock on that unite the devices. Find the key to set her free, but that will be too easy. There are ten keys scattered everywhere. Only one works. For every wrong key used, one fingernail will be ripped out. Plus, you only have thirty minutes before the device activates. The time starts now. Then the screen went blank. The time had become. The two stood in place, looking all around to see where those keys could possibly be. Raz saw one close to the chair that, that Livy was in. He went for it. No! Alarmed Daco. That's not the one! It's too easy! Raz laughed. That's what they want you to think. He looks to Livy in the eyes as he, as he holds the key. No worries, lass. We'll get you out. He put the key in the lock. Daco and Raz's index fi finger was yanked at right out. They released the, m the most painful blood-curdling scream. I told you! Yelled Daco. You us! Then, then they started to run through the, that one direction when all of a sudden they felt this sharp, piercing pain on the bottom of their feet. The floor... In that, in that one direction was covered in broken glass. That was probably the reason why they were barefooted. But they didn't have any choice. They, they needed to rescue Livy. To make that pain even worse, they had to go into a room filled with salt, like if there were sand at a beach. Raz and Daco yelled as they stepped into the salt. What was even even worse 
is that they used both of their hands to dig through the salt. Their eyes teared up by, by all the stinging and burning. Then they finally found the key. Running through the broken glass again made their sting even worse. They tried that key with Livy. Their index finger from their other hand was yanked out. No doubt, wrong key. 25 minutes was remained on the timer. They spot a straight wh straightaway hallway with a key at the end. Knowing from Raz's first mistake, it was too easy. Then that alpaca voice filled the hallway saying, For, for this challenge, you must think quickly. As the two stood in place dumbfounded, a giant blade came through the ceiling right in front of them. Then the ceiling above them was coming down slowly. The blade kept on going every unknown second. They could not stay in place for too long.